Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapti Tamyena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadam Mayam Dadati Swam Padanti Kam Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prastaya Bhutale Srimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Near Visesa Sunyavari Paschatya de Satarine Panchakalpa Tarubascha Kripa Sindhu Bae Bacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhu Vaishnave Bhu Namaho Namaha Jaisi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadakar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakti Vrindu Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, um, Bruna, could you, uh, did you begin the recording yet? <laughs> yes, okay. Um, why don't you make it a full screen? Mm -hmm. uh, it is, it is full screen. No, no, you still got the other, a lot of other stuff around it. Because I've been doing it each day and the full screen means just the text, you don't see anything else. Oh. But I can work with this. Maybe you don't know how to do it. So. Oh. All right, we'll just leave it like this anyway. Um, Eta Bali Kaji Gela Nagariya Eta Bali Kala Jela Nagariya Loka Pravastani Niva Dila Panabara Soka. Translation After saying this, the Kazi returned home, and the devotees, greatly shocked that they were forbidden to chant Hare Krishna, submitted their grief to Lord Chaitanya. So we are continuing. This is a continuation of five, uh, five a series of five lectures. Today is the second day. Uh, the devotees were doing Harinam Sankirtan in their homes. And uh, Lord Chaitanya had inspired the whole town of Navadweep to begin the Harinam Sankirtan. But then there was complaint from both the Muslims, but mostly from the, from the ritualistic Hindus, complaining to the Kazi that they were, being, they were disturbing the Lord and they were acting outside of their religious principles. And uh, so Kazi came with his men and soldiers, started chasing the devotees, beating up some of the devotees, they broke the Murdanga drum mm. and warned the devotees mm. not to do this anymore. It will be even more mm. severe consequences. And so uh, now the Kazi, after threatening everyone, he returns home. So the next verse, verse number 30. Prabhu Anya Dila Yatta Kariya Kirtana Muni Savari Mug Aja Sakala Yavana. Lord Chaitanya ordered, go perform today, Kirtan. Today I shall kill all the Muslims. Chaitanya was received the, what happened. Um, Lord Chaitanya responds, he's, go perform kirtan, today I shall kill all the Muslims. Purport, Gandhi is known for having started the movement of nonviolent civil disobedience in India. But about 500 years before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started his movement of nonviolent civil disobedience to the order of Chankazi. It is not necessary to commit violence to stop the opposition from hindering a movement. For one can kill their demonic behavior with reason and argument. 
following the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, whenever there are obstacles, the Hare Krishna movement should kill the opposition with reason and argument and thus stop their demoniac behavior. If we become violent in every case, it would be difficult for us to manage our affairs. We should therefore follow in the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya, who disobeyed the order of the ruling party, Chankasi, and subdued him with reason and argument. So we see here that the original uh, source of nonviolent disobedience is not coming from Gandhi, which a lot of people think, although Gandhi uh, organized it. Lord Chaitanya, 500 years before then, organized it when the Harinam party was attacked, the devotees were beaten, the drum was broken, and they were threatened with further re repercussions if they continued. So Lord Chaitanya is angry <laughs> and he expresses his anger, but he instituted nonviolence and we'll see how that nonviolence in a nonviolent opposition to the to the rule of the Chankazi. Next verse. Gadigiya Sambaloki Kara Kirtana Kajiriya Baya Swachanda Neha Chamakita Mana. Returning home, all the citizens began performing Sankirtan, but because of the order of the Kazi, they were not carefree, but always full of anxiety. So they listened to Lord Chaitanya and again resumed the Sankirtan, but anxiety because they didn't know what will happen with the Chan Kazi. Next verse. Tasabare antabaya prabhu manajani kahite lagila loke snigar daki ani. Understanding the anxiety within the people's mind, the Lord called them together and spoke to them as follows. Now, Lord Chaitanya is going to initiate this sankirtan. Next verse. Nagare Nagare Ajay Kani Mukirtana Sadakala Kara Saba Nagara Madana. In the evening, I shall perform Sankirtan. So you don't have a full screen, that's why you can't bring up the, the whole verse. You have to go to full screen. In the evening, I shall perform Sankirtan in each and every town. Therefore, you should all decorate the city in the evening. So the Lord is performing it and he's getting everybody ready and he ordered the city to be decorated. Next verse. Sandate dute sabe jwala gara gara gare gare dekakona kaje asi mora manakare in the evening, burn torch lights in every home. I shall give protection to everyone. Let us see what kind of Kazi comes to stop our kirtan. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is giving the order, you know, with me here, don't worry, I'll give everyone protection and let's see what the Kazi can do. Next verse. Ekakahe. Sandakale Chala Gauraya Kirtan Neda Koila Prabhu Tina Sampradaya. In the evening, Lord Gaurasundar went out and formed three parties to perform Kirtan. Purport This is a scheme for performing Kirtan in procession. During Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's time, one party was composed of 21 men. Four people playing Murdangas, one leading the chanting, and 16 others striking cartels, responding to the leading chanter. 
If men join the Sankirtan movement, they may follow in the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya and form different parties according to the time and the number of men available. Prabhupada's just giving a nice formula for how we can organize Sankirtan in a very effective way, following in the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya. Next verse. Age sampradaya nritya kari hari dasa madhyanacha acharya gosana paraman ulasa. In the front party dance the Kaur Haridas. In the middle party dance the Dvaita Acharya in jubilation. Now, in another scripture, which is Taitanya Bhagavat, it gives much more detail on what was happening. And I'll read some of the things that are mentioned in the Chaitanya Prabhupada. It says here, after the Lord ordered everyone to prepare a torch, uh, everyone did. In fact, not only one family, but many people within the same family. It said millions of people lived in Navanadi at that time. Who can count the number of torches that were made? Meanwhile, those who had the resources arranged for thousands of torches to take along. The entire Navadweep became filled with torches. The happiness of the women, children, elderly persons increased unlimitedly. Can anyone other than Krishna have such potency? Still, the sinful people were not able to understand because there was a group of people who, who were sinful and who were against the, the chanting also. Simply by the Lord's order, people from all over Navadweep became came before him with torches in hand. When the Vaishnavs heard about this, they immediately came. Then the son of Sachimara instructed everyone. And, he, and then they were coming to the same place here. Arjaita Charya danced in the front and Grun group will sing hit with him. Haridas danced in the middle with another group. So go on to the next verse. Pache Sampradaya Nitya Nitya Nritya Kari Gora Chandra Tana Sangha Nachi Bhuli Prabhu Nityananda Lord Gorasunda himself danced in the rear party and Sri Nityananda Prabhu moved with Lord Chaitanya's dancing. So here in the Chaitanya Bhagavad it says, as soon as the Lord looked at Nityananda, Nityananda said, I will never leave your side. Another group was formed with Sribas Prabhu leading the dancing. Lord Nityananda said, my only duty is to follow you for support. I will not re relinquish your feet from my heart, even for a moment. What ability do I have to dance independently? Wherever you are, I am there. This is my devotional service. So this is the mood of a dedicated follower of Lord Chaitanya that they want to serve the Lord in the best possible way, according to the situation that's presented. And so Lord Nityananda is showing the example that he personally cannot do anything but assist, assist Lord Chaitanya in his mission to spread the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So we can learn from Lord Nityananda, the dedication of a devotee to the order of the Supreme Lord. Okay, so go to the next verse. And so here it mentions how this same incident is described in Chaitanya Bhagavat, and I'm also reading from that same section in Chaitanya Bhagavat. So go to verse number um, 
let's see, in Chaitanya Bhagwat, there is a, a little bit longer description. It says millions of people gathered at the Lord's desk doorstep. The loud vibration of Hari, Hari's name penetrated the universe. So no one knew where all these people came from, but millions and millions of people came by the order of the Lord. The loud, the loud roaring of Sachi's son filled the ears of everyone. As they all became overwhelmed by his loud roars, they chanted the name of Hari and lit their torches. Millions of torches were lit in four directions and millions of people chanted the name of Hari in four directions. Who has the ability to describe that wonderful scene and the ecstasy that manifested there? No one could tell whether the full moon had appeared, whether the sun had appeared or whether the stars had appeared. The entire sky was filled with illumination. Perhaps Krishna had appeared there in the form of light. As Sri Gaurasandra loudly chanted the name of Hari, all the Vaishnavas got ready. The Lord that began Kirtan in the midst of devotees were all decorated with garlands, colored power, and sandalwood paste. Their hands were adorned with cartels and whoppers. Each of them had the power to defeat millions of lions. So here's an interesting statement. The Lord empowered all his devotees. Um, the devotee has what we say, the ability to access the power of the Lord. When the Lord wants to give, he can give as much power as a devotee can handle. So the devotees should never think that they are limited and whatever they can do, because by the grace of the Lord, when the devotee is sincere and enthusiastic to serve, then the Lord empowers that person with his Shakti. And that's why you see, and we have a long history of many events of how devotees have done so many amazing things by the grace of the Lord. So it's then the non-devotees, they also get their power from the Lord, but it is material and therefore it is not stable. It comes and it goes. But the devotees can access unlimited amount of Shakti coming from the Lord in, the, in relationship to serving the Lord according to the Lord's desire. Because the Lord is all powerful and he can invest anything into the heart of his devotee and the devotee does miraculous things on behalf of the Lord. And the most amazing thing, although it's the power of the Lord, the devotee receives the credit. And that's the mercy of the Lord. That's mentioned in the Bhagavatam in the, in the sixth canto, where it says that the Lord inspires the devotee to serve in a certain way. And then the devotee takes it up and then the Lord empowers him. And the devotee uh, produces wonderful results and the devotee gets the credit. Krishna wants to give credit to his devotees. Although whatever the devotees do, they know it's not their ability. It's not their power coming by the grace of the Lord. But that's the Lord's love for his devotees. He likes to give his Shakti to his devotees who then do wonderful things on his behalf. And then he gives them the credit and they become you know, glorious in their devotional service. So when we understand that, then we are not limited in our devotional service. We limit ourselves because we see things in a very ordinary way, but by the power of the Lord, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Okay, and that's what Lord Chaitanya is doing here. He's empowering all these devotees in the Sankirtan 
and they're becoming mad like lions, chanting, dancing, and roaring in the mood of glorification of the holy name. Okay, go on to the next verse in CC. Okay, we're getting to the door of the Kazi already. So in the um, Chaitanya Bhagavat, there, there's much more descriptions about what happened prior to reaching the door of the Kazi. And uh, I'll read some of them because this, uh, what what Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami did, he didn't want to, uh, he just wanted to give a synopsis of what Vrindavan Das Thakur did in Chaitanya Bhagavad. So he's leaving out some of the details. I mean, I'll read some of the details here. It says here, surrounded by his devotees who were non-different from him, the son of Sachi, Lord Chaitanya, began to move forward. When the Lord moved forward while dancing in ecstasy, everyone chanted the name of Hari and floated in the waves of ecstasy. Everyone became free from material suffering and on seeing the Lord's beautiful face, they all joyfully chanted the name of Hari. The Lord's beauty defeated that of millions of cupids. There is nothing in which it may be compared. Still by his mercy, I will try to explain. Otherwise, who is able to describe his beautiful form? His form is the essence of the Vedas, decorated with sandal pearl. It appears as bright as the moon. His curling hair decorated with jasmine flowers and garlands and his sweet smile is an is expression of pure artistic display. His forehead decorated with sandal pulp and colors of powdered dots. His arms are raised uh, and he chants Hari from his moonlike face. And it goes on to describe his garland and how the Lord was dancing. And he goes into a real deep and very detailed description of all the different features of the Lord's body and how they're, how beautiful they are in comparison to the beauty we see within this material world. It says here, in the same narrative, the crowd of devotees was so thick that if a mustard seed was dropped, it would not reach the ground. <laughs> Purport, the crowd was so thick that even if a small mustard seed would not reach the ground, if it was thrown among them. Yet by the mercy of the Lord, everyone could happily see the Lord's face. So the Lord performed this miracle of allowing everyone to see him. And it describes the doorsteps and the houses, how they were decorated with bananas, durva grass, ripe paddy, pots filled with yogurt, mango twigs, bunches of bananas, clay pots with water. And everybody was caught up. And then here it mentions the thieves. There's, there was a class of people called the thieves in the society. They were thinking, huh, this is a golden opportunity. Today we shall steal from everybody's house. So the thieves, this is verse 194 in chapter 23 of Chaitanya Bhagavad Madhya Lila. I don't know if you can bring that up. Do you have Chaitanya Bhagavat available? Let me check Maharaj on the in the library. Oh. It has to be uh, the compilation by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. I don't think you, you might, it might take too long to find. I'll just read. 
Let me oh, just go no. back to the Chaitanya Charitamrita. If everyone can remain attentive, you'll find some interesting statements here. So it says here, the thieves, they thought this is a golden opportunity to steal from every house. Ultimately, the thieves forgot their own plans because nothing other than the name of Hari could be heard, even from their own mouths. In other words, the thieves, when they started making their plans, they forgot about it because the chanting was so strong that they started to chant also. It says here, do not consider these topics an exaggeration. Such things happen whenever Krishna enjoys. As the Lord danced along the bank of the Ganga, everyone in front and behind of the Lord chanted the name of Hari. Advaita Charya led his group to the front and danced in great ecstasy as they proceeded along. Next, Haridas, an ocean of happiness in Krishna consciousness, beautifully danced as he proceeded along at the Lord's order. Thereafter, Srinivas, who was full of happiness in Krishna consciousness, danced in the procession. In this way, the devotees danced in the front of the procession. They were each surrounded by groups of singers. Lord Gorasuna danced most enchantingly as he followed behind everyone. All the devotees began singing sweetly. Those who never sang before also began, began engaged in singing. Then it mentions the devotees, Marari, Mukunda, Dat, Ramai, Govinda, Vakreshwar, Vasudev, were all that were, were present. They all danced and sang around the Lord who continued along in ecstasy. So you can imagine the scene, like millions of people are in the streets and there's a roaring sound of the holy name. The devotees are in the front dancing. Lord Chaitanya is following the devotees behind and he is in ecstasy. And everyone is filled with the nectar of the holy name and feeling such great power and happiness. Lord Nityananda and Gurharhar went along on either side of the Lord and they floated in an ocean of nectarine love of God. As Mahaprabhu danced along the path, millions of people rushed to see him. Light from the millions of burning torches reflected like the moon on the bodies of everyone. Millions of large torches burned in the four directions and millions of people chanted the name of Hari in four directions. On seeing the Lord's dancing and his wonderful transformation of love, all the people of Nadia became overwhelmed in ecstasy. Sometimes the Lord's entire body became covered with dust and sometimes the entire body was washed by the tears of his eyes. He exhibited shivering, perspirations, hair standing on his body. Even the atheists who saw this, they were moved and affected. The entire city of Navadvip was filled with the vibration of Krishna's name. Everyone began to chant and dance the name of Sri Hari. Everyone danced and sang Hari, O Rama, Rama, Hari, O Rama, Rama. Millions of groups danced in ecstasy throughout Navadweep. They sang Hare Harai Nama Krishna, Yadavai Namaha, Gopal Govinda Ram, Sri Sudan. Some people danced alone, some danced and clapped their hands in groups of five or ten. Although they held torches and oil pots in their hands, and it was the most amazing how they simultaneously clapped their hands. <laughs> so you were starting, you'll start seeing miracles happen amongst Lord Chaitanya's kirtans. It appeared that Vaikuntha had manifested in Navadweep as all the inhabitants took on the characteristics that are found in the Vaikuntha realm. All living entities assumed four arms, yet being overwhelmed with ecstatic love for Krishna. They didn't notice. So everybody was being transformed. They were getting their spiritual bodies in the middle of this kirtan. 
They did not notice they had four arms. They even forgot themselves. So how did they clap their hands? <laughs> Vrindavan Das Thakur is narrating. So in this way, the, the son of Nandi descended with an entire chanting flute in his hand and garlands of flowers, flowers. And everyone danced along the path near the Ganga. Some people rolled on the ground and some slapped their limbs. Various forms manifests on the tongues of Marius words. Some said, where is that Kazi fellow now? I will find him, we will tear off his head. Some people ran to catch the atheist and some punched the ground while other in uttering the name of the atheist. Who can say how many people played Murdangas? Who can say how many people sang in ecstasy? It was such a downpour of ecstatic love of God all over Nadia that even the inhabitants of Vaikuntha hankered for it. All of Nadia, Nadia floated in the mellow of ecstasy that overwhelms Brahma, Ananta, and Shiva. The Lord of Vaikuntha danced along the banks of the Ganzi with his associates, servants, weapons, and confidential companions. The earth had never witnessed such ecstasy. The roads in all directions were filled with ecstasy. There was not the slightest misbehavior to be found anywhere. Each of those places become, became most sanctified. And there's a small, even ordinary places no longer remain like desolate abodes of sense gratification, devoid of care time. Lord, Lord Garanga danced and his followers sang at his side. So we'll, uh, we'll continue the narration tomorrow and then we'll go into more and more of this. And this, this, this narration goes on and on describing this kirtan. In uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, we only get the essence, but here in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, you get the whole detail of all the kirtans and how the devotees were in ecstasy and how that ecstasy was being manifested in different ways. Okay, so we'll stop here and continue tomorrow with further narrations of this wonderful, amazing kirtan by Lord Chaitanya, which transformed the entire city of Navadvi into the spiritual world. That same Lord Chaitanya has come again in this age of Kali to change the whole face of the world by bringing Harinam Sankirtan to each corner of the world. Lord Chaitanya has predicted that in every town and village, his name will be chanted. Mahaprabhu has a plan to purify the entire world and bring the Harinam Sankirtan into the lives of everyone. Gradually, as, as Prabhupada said, if, if the leaders of our movement chant 16 rounds every day and remain very much fixed in following the regulative principles, then our movement will be very successful and spread very quickly. Okay, so we'll stop there and see if there's any comments or questions. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Kirtan. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Always to Srila Prabhupada and Guru, uh, Your Holiness. Uh, Guru Maharaj, can you uh, please tell us uh, uh, where we can find uh, these uh, texts you read in Chaitanya Bhagavat? So I found a PDF on Eastern Desire Tree so that uh, we'll be ready tomorrow to screen. To yeah, screen. it's in text. It's, it's Madhya Leela. It's uh, Madhya Leela, Madhya Kanda. It's called Madhya Kanda. And it's the third book in the series of the Madhya Kanda. And it's chapter 23. Chapter 23. Okay, good. Now, this is the uh, this is the Chaitanya Bhagavat that is done by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's commentary. So this particular edition has been been promoted by 
by Pundarik Vidyanidhi Das of Raj, 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 Raj Press, translated by Bhumipati Das. <laughs> so this particular, because there are a few other editions of Chaitanya Bhagavad that are floating around the ISKCON society, but we want this one because this one is the most uh, direct in giving the, the actual events. This is all this is all done by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So, uh, yeah. Okay, good find I'll it? touch it. Yeah. Thank you. Did you find it? Uh, no, good much. I'll touch it up. Um, yeah. It's called Raj Raj Press. If you go for Raj Raj Press, and then Bhumipati is the translator, and Pundarik Vidyanidhi is the one that put it together. And it's Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's common, uh, commentaries. It's and in hard in hardcover, it's a series of volumes. There are about nine volumes, I think, that are there. It's almost like the, the Chaitanya Charitamrita, except these are smaller volumes and very colorful uh, looking books. If you, if you can, um, can you see my screen? Uh, no, Guru Maharaj, um, yes. I'll make you co-host and uh, you can share your screen. Mm. You can see me, right? Yes, Guru Maharaj, you can share your screen um, by clicking on the share screen button and uh, now you can share your screen. No, all I, all I want to do is show you something that I have. So if you can see me, you can see this. No, Guru Maharaj, um, you have to share the screen. Oh, you have a book. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, can you bring it up a little bit, Guru Maharaj? Okay, there yeah. it is. Uh, little that's down, the, Guru Maharaj, we are unable to see the title. Yes, Guru Maharaj, yeah. That's the cover. Okay. Sure, Guru Maharaj. And then you'll see it says here, um, Raj Raj Press. Raj Raj Press. And then Madhya Leela, okay. Madhya, Kanda, Madhya Kanda Part 3. Like that. Well, this detailed explanation of this whole pastime is really, really amazing. What happens? He transforms the whole city of Navadweep into the spiritual world. And people are, are transformed along with it. It's just quite phenomenal to read this pastime. You, you cannot get excited by reading this. You, it's just so full of the Lord's extraordinary mercy that manifested in the form of this kirtan. Thank you, Guru okay. Maharaj. Okay, so is there anyone out there would like to speak something? Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Uh, it was so nice to hear from Chaitanya Bhagavat. Uh, I'm really sorry, Maharaj, if I could not show the screen properly today. I really apologize. I will learn it from someone how to make it full screen for next time. No really problem. Sorry. So, Maharaj, uh, what is the difference in Chaitanya Charitamrita and Bhagavat? Like, Bhagavat has the pastimes more elaborate in that? or uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita is Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami's explanation of the life of Lord Chaitanya and Chaitanya Bhagavad is the same, but Vrindavan Das Thakur is called the father of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. His work was done first. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami refers in his work many times to Chaitanya Bhagavad. And he also mentions he doesn't want to repeat everything that, that uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur repeats. So, in some places, he omits the, omits the pastime completely. In other places, he gives a small version of the same pastime. So in this case, he's giving a small version of this Harinam Sankirtan, or the March on the House of the Chankazi. 
So Chaitanya Charitamrita is what we have as our text, but Chaitanya Bhagavat is also the you know, authorized version. The difference is that in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srila Prabhupada decided to give us Chaitanya Charitamrita as opposed to Chaitanya Bhagavat as our as our information for the life of Lord Chaitanya. And the reason he did that is because in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami includes many verses from other Shastras to support the text, such as Srimad Bhagavatam, where in Chaitanya Bhagavat, it's just practically all Leela. And therefore Prabhupada knew that we weren't really ready to hear just straight Leela. We would need to hear more of the tattva, the philosophical truths that support and uh, enhance the Leelas. So therefore, Srila Prabhupada chose, that was one of the reasons, there were others. He chose Chaitanya Charitamrita as the means, as our scripture for the life of Lord Chaitanya. And there is just now in Chaitanya Bhagavad, Vrindavan Das Thakur is a devotee of Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda was his worshipful deity. He was more inclined to Nityananda than he was to Lord Chaitanya. And so in his compilation of the life of Lord Chaitanya, he includes a lot of chapters simply on the on the pastimes of Lord Nityananda. So you'll see, if you want to hear more about Lord Nityananda, you go to Chaitanya Bhagavat because there's a lot more there. Okay, thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Devotees, are there any more comments or questions? Please go ahead. Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna, <clears throat> my humble obeisances to you, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Um, Guru Maharaj, if we are reading Chaitanya Charita Amrit, uh, which itself will take a long time, how, um, like, should we go to particular pastimes, like how you you narrated today, like that particular pastime, and go to that pastime in Chaitanya Bhagavat and read that, because when will we get to Chaitanya Bhagavat, like, it's hard to complete CC itself. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the problems of Krishna consciousness. You've got too much nectar. Yeah. <laughs> so you just have to sort out the nectar and see what you need to do. Uh, I would stay with Chaitanya Charitra. This particular, um, just like Krishna Das Kaviraj, I think he did, dedicates about a hundred and some verses to this pastime, whereas Vrindavan Das Thakur dedicates 745, 40, 744 verses to this pastime. So, uh, yeah, but if you want to supplement or to fortify your reading, you can read both like that. Mm -hmm. No contradiction in the texts. It's just there are more details. And in some pastimes you won't find in Chaitanya Bhagavat, you'll find them in Chaitanya Lila, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. And also I, I wanted I yes. Good. My, my suggestion is that you read and study Chaitanya Charitamrita. When you finish that, then you can go to Chaitanya Bhagavan. Okay. That's yes. the way I would do it. 
Yes. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. And I also <clears throat> just wanted to share that, um, like, uh, um, in Maharashtra state, there is also called uh, Dindi that used to be there. Um, from the, the, there is no history of it. It it was always there, I guess. Like, it was just like. Uh, but now, unfortunately, it has become like a folk dance. It has just remained like a folk dance of Maharashtra. But actually, its purpose was Harinam, where um, mostly men would go around the village and uh, uh, they would chant uh, Krishna's name and sometimes Krishna's songs. Um, you but talking, now, you're talking about the Vyakyalis by Tukaram? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes. So Tukaram, Naneshwar, everybody, they used to go around the village and chant the glories out in the, and they move. They don't stand and just chant. They move around the village and uh, chant. Yeah, that's the day. And Tukaram actually had some, I think Tukaram was around the same time as Lord Chaitanya. Yes. Um, and I believe Tukaram, either he was inspired by Lord Chaitanya or maybe even met Lord Chaitanya. I'm not sure. There's a nice book on the life of Tukaram. You can read about his life. But that folk dance is, is a form of kirtan also. Yes. Uh, we, were, we were there in one, I forgot where we were. Let me see where we were. We went to... Um, are you talking Pandarpur, Maharaj? I think I've seen your picture in Pandarpur. Yeah, Pandarpur. Yeah, I was in Pandarpur. We were there. Uh, and we were there on, with a, a group of devotees. We met some of the leaders from the, the Vyakilis, they call them. Varkaris, I think. Varkari. Varkaris. Yeah. And uh, they, you know, we really became friends with them. And so they wanted to do their kirtan for us. So we sat and we watched and I thought it was really nice. <laughs> they have these big, big, heavy metal cartels that are like, you know, they're hard to, to pick up. They're heavy. Yeah. And they play them in a certain way. And then they dance back and forth. Yeah. And they dance side, dance back and forth. And it's really, really yeah. enchanting to watch as they sing also. Yes, yes, it's very nice to watch them. Uh, my grandparents uh, were Varkaris, Guru Maharaj. Like they have walked from their village to Pandarpur uh, every, um, uh, you know, Karthik. So uh, they they uh, they make a big group in the village and they walk to Pandarpur for like one month. They just keep walking and. That's that's in the that's in the beginning of April during the uh, that special ecodicy. What is that Mohini ecodicy, right? Yes, yes, yeah, uh, yes. The start of the Chaturmas. It is yeah. the month of Ashad Maharaj. Yes. No, even before that. Oh, yeah, maybe yes, yeah, Chaturmas. But then during the Mohini ecodicy, which falls in May, there's a big pilgrimage that goes from everywhere. They come, they, they wound up in Pandarpur. Pandarpur, yes. So I think they stay there for four months. They stay there for four months and just uh, do the, you know, Harinam and everything. Yeah, we did, we did Harinam to the streets of Pandarpur and people were coming out of the houses with garlands and Tulsi, sandalwood paste, prashadam. <laughs> it was just like a festival. We were we were just loaded down with garlands. <laughs> we, <laughs> and yeah. People were just like really loving the whole kirtan. We were doing the regular kirtan because uh, what's his name? Um, Lokanath Swami. You know he has a temple there in Pandarpur. Yeah. And so we, we we did kirtan with Lokanath Swami's devotees there. Yeah. Well, um, it's interesting. I didn't know you were from that family line. Yes, Guru Maharaj. We, we have worshipped Vithal from childhood, Vithal Rukmini. So Pandarpur is our uh, main, uh, you know, has been our main uh, de uh, deity, worshipable deity. 
Yeah, Vitala. Vitala, 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 Yeah, yeah we, 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 well, we, we were there for the darshan in the morning. They do this bathing ceremony of Vitala um, at 4.30 in the morning, yes. around Mangalarti time. Yes. And you can go and you can watch. Yes. Yes, Guru Maharaj. It is very opulent. Like they treat uh, Vitala like a uh, like real Dwaraka king. That's why they pour like... Uh, big, big uh, pots of curd, honey, milk. And they sing this very loud uh, song, like they sing for a king, like, uh, um, and they um, urge him to wake up. <clears throat> it's interesting. He's Krishna, but he's in the mood of Dwarkadish, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then in the temple, you find deities of Radharani and... Uh, Rukmini and Satyabhama also. Yeah, Rukmini is not with Vithal. She's on the on the side. Yeah, and same with same with uh, Radharani, I think also. The deities are all separate. Vithal is by himself. <laughs> yeah. And we we stayed there. We chanted Japa. Wonderful experience. Twice we went, two different yeah. occasions. Yeah, and Guru Maharaj, this is the uh, Vithal is the only here in Bandarpur is the only deity where anybody can go close to the deity and touch uh, Vithal. Nobody, nowhere else you can go very close to any deity. Well, not only you touch him, you put your head at his yeah. feet. Yeah, yes. Head touches his feet and then you make your prayer. Yeah. It is so sweet and so personal. Right? Yeah. Well, Vittal is very humble because we know the whole story, you know, because he was waiting for his uh, devotee to come and uh, meet him. He came to see his devotee, but his devotee was taking care of his parents. Yeah. He, he made Krishna away, so Krishna stood on the brick with his hands on his hips. And then he got tired. And Krishna left, and he just left himself in that form on the brick. <laughs> yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful fast. Uh, and Rukmini is waiting for him behind. That's yeah. why she left. I think what it was, Radharani left. She left. Um, um, what was it? Uh, no, yeah, Dwarka one. When the queen, let's see, is it Satyabhama or Radharani? Anyway, Krishna came after Radharani looking for her because she had left and she was upset for some reason and Krishna came. And then Krishna, when he got to the place where his devotee was, he thought he'd go see his devotee. It just happens. He was happened to be there. And then that's the whole story of Vitzel. <laughs> But he was chasing after Radharani or Satyabhama, I'm not sure, because Satyabhama is an incarnation of Srimati Radharani who appeared in Dwarka to associate with Krishna. When Krishna left Vrindavan, the gopis manifested different forms and took the forms of the queens. And so the actual expansions of the gopis in Vrindavan are the actual queens in Dwarka. And each of the gopis are a particular queen, just like Ra Rukmini is Chandravali, Satyabhama is Radharani, and then all of the major, major gopis are one of the principal queens of Krishna. So they weren't able to associate with Krishna when Krishna had left, but they wanted to associate him, although they weren't completely happy in that, uh, what they call it, a Swakya Ras, they were more in tune to Parakya Ras. They accepted that just to associate with Krishna, who is who's known as Dorkadish. Really beautiful pastime. Yes. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe you can tell me more at some other time and maybe write it, write a book or something. <laughs> no, Guru Maharaj. But yeah, very nice past times. So. Yeah, there's these are this is our culture, this is our life. Okay, so let me see here. I'm running past my time and I have a meeting at one o'clock UK time. So um, we'll have to end here and we'll continue tomorrow with Lord Chaitanya's Harinam Sankirtan on the house of Chan Kazi. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you All so glories much. to the assembled devotees. Vansha Kalpa Tarubis Thank you very much, Guru. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Guru. Hare Krishna.